Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen of the... Oh, my freaking Christ. Look at the screen when you're doing your intro, you idiot. Oh, my God. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. My life is a disaster. I just woke up, and I don't know what I'm doing with my life. But I do know that today we are hunting down the Saint Denis vampire. Hope you guys all enjoy this episode. Many of you have been asking me to do this for probably the past couple days. And I haven't necessarily been procrastinating, but there's been a lot of other videos that I wanted to release before this. Uh, so today we are going to be showing exactly how to unlock the uh, Saint Denis vampire. And then we're going to track him down and hunt him. Oh, it's going to be exciting. I want to see if he can actually live a little bit longer and, um, and basically see if it's basically always in the same spot or if he like goes around murdering other people. It's probably just one of those local things, like if we... He probably just doesn't show up again. I don't know. But we're going to experiment with this a little bit. I hope you guys all enjoy it. Thank you so much for your support recently on the Red Dead Redemption 2 content. You all are truly amazing. We are headed to the first location, which is going to be near the, uh, the saloon up here in St. Denis. Now, we need to find, I believe it is four or five different graffiti locations. And once we find all of these, we'll unlock a little X on our map that will show us where the Saint Denis Vampire is. Just realized I dropped the marker at the wrong saloon. It needs to be this saloon, which is on the northeastern side of Saint Denis. And then we're going to find the graffiti basically just across the road from it. So there's the saloon right there. And if you walk across the road, there's this building here. We've got ourselves some graffiti. I drink from the maiden and I live again in the dead. The heart of the ring of blood. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay. And we need to actually inspect it. I'm going to go ahead and jot that down. Oh, auto save. Of course. There we go. Now there are four more locations that we need to find for this. And once we do, we'll be able to locate exactly where he is. For the next location, you're going to go ahead and head to the trapper where the St. Denis market is. And where this archway says the St. Denis market daily, there's going to be a gate just over here. And, oh, almost broke through that like the Kool-Aid, man. We get another one here. I feed again the blood of life. The circle has begun. Interesting. Three more to go. And I, I don't know if we're going to... We can only find it at night. I imagine that would make sense, wouldn't it? Let's go ahead and get the next one. For the third marking, we're going to go ahead and go just behind the St. Denis gunsmith. You put a marker right here, you'll be able to find it. And when you're facing the gunsmith from the outside, there's going to be this little uh, alleyway right here. And we're going to go ahead and meander our way through here. And it should be on one of these walls. I'm really excited about this. I've been wanting to do it since I even, you know, heard that it was a thing. And I knew it was a thing for a little while, and I didn't think to do it. Mind yourself. We're taking a little well, break. Where? You. Don't excuse you, me. Trying to find me some graffiti. You seen a vampire around here, ma'am? Probably not. She'd be dead. Man, I couldn't see this at all. I think it was because of the light, but there it is right here in this little back corner. So if you run in from the front of the gunsmith, go through these little archways here, and you'll be able to find it. Now this says... Uh, with one long kiss, I draw the life from me from her, oh, and await the outpost of advancing day. Oh, boy. Gonna be a disaster. Now, the next piece of graffiti is pretty close by, and if you stay on the same road with the gunsmith, you'll be able to get it very, very quickly. There's gonna be this little archway right here, and we're gonna go through here. And then just at these stairs, there's going to be a little alleyway right here. And then right here, we're going to find, oh, sweetest of napes. May your blood remain forever. On my lips six, there will be before the lust is stated. Or stated. Stationed. Stationated. Words. Ah, so we got one more to go. And then we can finally find the Saint Denis Vampire. Last but not least, we've got to go behind the St. Denis General Store. Now, if you go back here, uh, you're going to find it right here. This is probably the easiest one to find. Five ladies under the perfect star. Nosferatu. With numbing will. 
Become mortal again. Oh, hi. Hi to you too. Trying to record here. Could you not yell in my ear? Oh, oh, look at that. And I'm guessing right in the center is where we're going to find the next murder. Or no. Oh. So now that we've got all of the little graffiti things found, if we come back at night or wait until night, we're going to get a little X on our map. When we go there and we're going to find the vampire. Now, it is only 3.02 p.m. for me, so I'm going to go ahead and run some errands, make sure I'm stocked up on everything that I need. And you guys can do whatever you want to do while waiting for nightfall. But regardless, we'll be back. So it's about 8.24 p.m. and we've been searching around and I know exactly where this is supposed to pop up. It's supposed to be basically in here just north of the general store. But for some reason, it's not quite popping up. And uh, we'll, I guess we'll get this figured out. I'm thinking maybe closer to midnight something's going to happen. There we go. Finally got the X to pop up on the map. Now I had done this and I waited throughout the night and it didn't pop up. And I actually slept in, at this here saloon until midnight. And this X didn't pop up. I waited until morning and nothing popped up. So this time I waited just in the city, kind of running around. And it is now 12.29 uh, a.m. So I'm assuming that probably popped up right around 12. And we know exactly where that is. So let's go ahead and head down this way and um, encounter the vampire. So I want to see what happens. I want to see if we could capture him for one. And two, if we can do anything with him, if we can learn more about him or anything like that. I'm really interested to see if there's more to this than what's been shown already. I think we just got to go through here. Oh, there he is. So... You found me. <laughs> this dude is weird. Hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> he sounds ridiculous. He well, does look vampire. very vampirish, though. I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. Let's see here. Uh, let's let's defuse the situation You're here. No see what more happens. You're vampire than I am. I'll suck you dry. Oh shit! Oh, oh, we got him. Nice, tie his ass up. Get him. Come to me, mortal. Oh hell yeah! All right, now did he drop his knife? Since we captured him. So we've got a stranger here to loot. I don't think I'm going to loot the stranger. And I will spare you the worst. Oh, really? No, you're staying bound. We're going to put you in the light and see if you really are a vampire. So let's go ahead and just pick him up first. We'll loot him later. Come on, man. Now, or I, will bleed I don't know if slowly. he still has his knife on him. Sometimes when you tie people up, they don't drop their knife. So he might you not drop it until we kill grave him. Mistake. <laughs> you just stay right there. I'm going to put you in the sunlight. Okay, so it doesn't look like... Oh, okay, we don't want him to break free. I don't know how strong he is. You think you can restrain me? Interesting, so there's no knife. We'll probably drop it when we kill him later. Oh, you will truly suffer now. All right, where's my horse at? Come on, horse. I don't want to get a kidnapping charge. I'm pretty sure... Oh, oh, there's the coppers. Come on, horse. What you doing, home skillet? Oh, you were like, why are you trying to go through the... Where are you going? 10 out of 10 worst horse of the year award goes to this horse right here. This is a replacement horse because I logged into the game and the game somehow managed to kill my horse. Get back here, you prick. Where are you going? Stay, girl. Hey, copper. This is a vampire. Don't mind me. Horse. Don't go in front of the trolley, you stoop. Are you serious? Worst horse. Is it dead? Oh my god. Stay. Horse. Maybe he doesn't like the vampire. Interesting. Maybe he really is a vampire. This could get bumpy. Look at his face. Oh shit. Horse. Stay. Get. Get back here. It's on your back. You're not going to run from it. Oh my god. 
Okay, you need to calm down there, home home skillet. All right, so let's go ahead and take this guy out somewhere and see if we can get him to, like, burn up in the sun. Some random civilian just tried to kill me. The time was up and just shot at me while I'm trying to escape with the vampire. So I haven't gotten any bounty, but there's apparently some butt hurt people in St. Denis that kind of want to murder me. So we're going to take this guy into a nice secluded area and see what happens when the sun comes up. And then we'll prove for once and for all if he's truly a vampire or not. Oh, look at that beautiful sunrise coming. We're going to leave him on the horse. And because he can probably escape if he's on the ground. Actually, let's go ahead and pick him up on our back. Here we go. Oh, you're going to burn, baby. At least if you're actually a vampire. Interesting. Let's go ahead and drop him here for a second. If he starts really squirming, we can pick him up. But I want to get a good look at his face. Oh, look at that face. He definitely looks like a vampire. But does he burn like one? That's the important thing. Let's see what he's got in his pockets. This is uh, very kind of you. Stringy meat and two bat wings, huh? Oh, you ready to burn? He's not saying anything anymore. Pick him up. Don't want him to break free. We're going for a walk. What time is it? <laughs> Almost 6 a.m. Well, the sun's coming up, and he seems to not be burning. Interesting. Maybe the sun just needs to get a little bit higher. You ain't no vampire. Look at that face, though. He looks like he's about to shit himself. I guess I would be, too, if I was him. <laughs> oh, that's a face only a mother could love. Is that why you kill people? Did your mom not love you? We're gonna... Oh, look at those hands. <laughs> look at... Oh, oh, he's trying to break free. Oh, when they wiggle like that real fast? Uh, that, that's when they're about to break free. Well, the sun's up and he ain't burning. So now I'm trying to figure out the best way to dispose of his body. We could have him hit by a train. We could blow him up with dynamite arrows. We could try and feed him to a bear. I'm not 100% sure which I want to do right now. I kind of want to put him on the train tracks, blow him up, and get him run over by a train at the same time. I feel like that's ideal, but I'm going to wait until it's a little bit later in the day. It's only 7.20 a.m. The sun's really not that up yet, and it's kind of foggy. Let's wait till maybe noon. The sun is most definitely up, and if he's not going to burn from the sun... We're gonna make him burn. So let's go ahead and put him here. I tried to like antagonize him and defuse him and stuff. We couldn't really talk to him beyond just his scripted stuff at the beginning. Oh sh shit, he's trying to escape. You trying to escape? Farewell, sweet prince. Stupid vampire. Okay, sweet. So he did drop his knife. <laughs> Pick up the ornate dagger. Nice. Let's take a look, see what exactly this is. Come on, baby. That's actually really pretty. A rare decorative dagger featuring a silver blaze, a blade embossed with ornate designs and a gold statuette handle. This weapon previously belonged to a strange pale man dressed in black, discovered lurking amongst the back alleys of Saint Denis. That is really cool. I think if we... Can we inspect it if we... Get out of here and do this. Oh, so it won't let us, like, maintain it or anything. I was trying to get a better look at it. It's a cool-looking dagger. I just wish I could get a little bit closer to it. There we go. That's about the best we can do right now. Interesting. So we got the unique weapon. We got to mess around with the stranger here. I think we got to give him a nice, a perfect funeral. There's a lot of other little secret things like this in the game. If you guys want me to showcase them, feel free to let me know in the comments below. But now he's a real vampire, catching on fire in the sun like he should. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.